SpaceX is planning to launch the Falcon 9's Inspiration 4, the first all-commercial astronaut mission to orbit in the last quarter of 2021. The billionaire CEO of Shift 4, Jared Isaacman, is one of the passengers of the spaceship, and he has already donated the remaining three seats in the spacecraft to lucky individuals, who will be chosen in due time. The crew that will be on the Inspiration 4 flight will receive the necessary training by astronauts so that they're well prepared. The journey is a multi-day orbit around the Earth in 90-minute intervals along an already predefined flight path. There is a lot more that you need to know about the billionaire paying for the space tickets and this exciting mission, so make sure to stay until the end to get all the details. If you haven't already, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more high-quality content. SpaceX has made it known to the public that they will be launching their first ever completely civilian private spaceflight mission. This is a very expensive tourism launch, and it is set to fly by the last quarter of 2021. The mission is to make use of SpaceX's Dragon Crew spacecraft with Falcon 9 rocket. Gerard Isaacman, CEO of Shift 4 Payments, is also to be in the craft, with three other crew members sponsored by Gerard Isaacman, his company, and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The name of the mission is Inspiration4, and it's already pulling in a lot of attention online. A website has already been made for it with a countdown to launch time. Two of the four seats on this ride have also been slated for individuals from St. Jude. One has already been assigned, but the person has not yet been identified. It will be a frontline healthcare worker at the Children's Research Medical Center. The other one will be the winner of an online contest from a pool of those who make donations to St. Jude. Finally, the third seat will go to an entrepreneur owning a business built on Shift 4's e-commerce platform for online stores. Isaacman has set aside $100 million for St. Jude being a part of the Inspirational 4 campaign. He's also looking to raise at least $100 million again from contributions made through the program. Gerard Isaacman has experience in flight, and he once created and led a private air force apart from running Shift 4 payments, which he started when he was 16. The company is now processing more than $200 billion in transactions annually. The private air force he created was sold to Blackstone, a large international military contractor. At the time, the business trained pilots for the United States Air Force. Isaacman is a trained pilot himself certified for both commercial and military flight. This is why he was chosen to serve as the Dragon's flight commander. His experience and donations have earned him this placement. Jared Isaacman has a childhood dream of going to space and is now 37 years old. His dream will soon become a reality. With the Inspiration 4 mission he has chosen to sponsor, Isaacman decided that he was going to go to space when he was 5 years old. He was calculated about it at the time and took a while to get it into motion. Being an accomplished pilot, he set a world record for the fastest flight around the world in a light jet in 2009. Jared calls himself a space geek and has an estimated net worth of $2.3 billion, according to Forbes. He's refused to reveal how much this mission will cost him, and it is certain that this sort of flight will not be cheap, as he already donated $100 million to St. Jude's Hospital, and is also paying for 30-second Super Bowl ad spots, which is said to be about $5.5 million annually. To have an idea of how much his seat is, NASA pays SpaceX roughly $55 million for every astronaut that goes to space from a SpaceX capsule. Isaacman believes that all of these expenses are not so much, as this is the first step forward towards a world where everyone can venture among the stars. Jared Isaacman founded the company Shift 4 as a teenager in his parents' basement in New Jersey, and has been doing that for the past 20 years. When he was a teen, Isaacman and his friend, Brendan Lauber, spent most of their time fixing computers and building websites. They then tried to make some money with these skills that they had acquired. While in high school, Isaacman sold computers while having a summer job at CompUSA. In reality, he was only using this to funnel clients to his own business. About his beginning days, he said, I was poaching customers. When customers would come into the store with their computer issues, I would tell them, you can buy this, or maybe, if you want, I've got this business on the side, and I'll take care of it for you. One of the clients he poached was Mario Parasi, the CEO of a payment processing company called Merchant Services Inc. MSI. Mario was so impressed with Isaacman's work when he cleared the company's network of viruses that he gave him a job as an in-house IT consultant. Isaacman chose to take the job and drop out of high school. His parents had one condition for him to leave high school. 
they wanted him to have at least a high school diploma. He then got a GED and eventually earned a college degree. When Isaacman worked in MSI for barely 6 months, he got an idea to start his own company. His idea was a payment processor that would make it easier for merchants to have credit card terminals without so much paperwork. He thought that he could attract businesses by simplifying the rigorous process. He went in to get a $10,000 check from his grandfather as a seed funding to start up his business in his parents' basement. He used that money to build a couple of computers and got some phones to get going. The company was called United Bank Card and then the name was changed in 2012 to Harbor Touch. In 2018, the name was changed again to its current name, Shift4 Payments. Isaacman hired his dad, who was an experienced salesman, as well as his friend Lauber, the current CTO, Chief Technology Officer of the company. With their coding and IT skills, they built the online application process, while his father searched for clients by calling local restaurants and other small businesses. With his father as the salesman, Isaac didn't need to interface face to face with his clients, who may have been scared due to his age. Isaacman did not meet with any clients till he was in his early 20s. One of the United Bank Card's first major clients was Mailboxes, a shipping company. They hired his startup to provide payment processing systems for more than 4,000 retail locations. By 2001, UPS had acquired Mailboxes, and now over 5,000 UPS stores in North America used Isaacman's services. Isaacman moved from his parents' basement to his first corporate offices in Highbridge, New Jersey, and opened more offices in Arizona and North Carolina in the following years. At the moment, Shift4 Payments has headquarters in Allentown, Pennsylvania, with over 730 employees spread across eight office locations scattered around the US, Canada, and Lithuania. Shift4 now possesses billions of transactions for over 200,000 businesses, which include large restaurant chains such as Auntie Annie's, Popeyes, and Denny's, as well as hospitality chains including Mandarin Oriental Hotel Group and Caesars Entertainment. Isaac Men says that after a couple of years of giving his whole life to the company, he began to burn himself out. He then decided he wanted to start flying. He'd been into planes and flying since he was a very young boy. He'd learned about the military space aircraft when he attended Aviation Challenge, a youth camp hosted by the United States Space and Rocket Center. He started flying lessons in 2004, and in five years, he was able to set a world record in a Cessna Citation CJ2, going around the world in just under 62 hours, about 20 fewer hours than the previous record. Isaacman founded Draken International in 2012, a company that employs military-trained fighter pilots to train student pilots for the United States Air Force. Even though Isaacman was exposed to some military-grade airplanes, he says he didn't think they can be compared to flying a spacecraft to orbit the Earth. Isaacman has been looking for such opportunity for many years, as he was waiting for a private company to launch an all-civilian flight. When he heard about SpaceX, he was eager to work with them, and eventually got his chance when SpaceX launched the first ever manned spaceflight mission in 2020. Elon Musk has agreed with Isaacman that this flight is an important milestone towards enabling access to space for everyone. For this mission, there will be a pre-launch commercial astronaut training. This training would include instruction in orbital mechanics and zero-gravity maneuvering. The flight is set to take off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida and then circle around the globe for multiple orbits. SpaceX estimates that one orbit will take around 90 minutes and the spacecraft will remain there for some days. Elon Musk said in a public hearing that the company suggests about two to four days for the flight. But this was up to Jared Isaacman if he wanted more. The number of days desired, the spacecraft will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and make a water landing in the Atlantic Ocean. Once it lands in the ocean, the SpaceX crew will recover it themselves. This mission is to use the SpaceX Dragon capsule, which is currently at the International Space Station. NASA has already given their approval and cooperation for the launch. SpaceX has revealed earlier that they want to host private missions with Dragon immediately when it was approved for human flight by NASA. Now SpaceX is on the front foot with the first dedicated private mission getting ready for takeoff. All other private space tourism efforts may have been surpassed by SpaceX, including Virgin Galactic's suborbital space plane day tours. In an interview, Elon Musk asked about the orbit of the missions. He replied by saying, I do really want to emphasize that this is up to you. You know where you go and where you want to go, we'll take you there. In response to a question about the accoutrements passengers can bring up, Musk transferred the question to Isaacman, who said, if we can get some creature comforts up there, that's kind of cool. Wouldn't it be nice to have a tour of the Earth's orbit from space? The success of this first flight will determine the importance and how important space exploration will be in the future. 
as this first flight will decide how others turn out. We'll have to wait until the end of the year to see the results. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!